Hi everyone, welcome back uh, to my channel. This is Pam, and today we're going to do the final upload from the jewelry auction that I went to several weeks ago now. Time has flown flown past again. Um, this is all the collection of the compacts, the old ladies compacts. Most of these are from the 50s, maybe early 60s. Uh, there might be a few from the 40s, but I uh, just wanted to show you real quick. I will be working on these to put them on Poshmark and Etsy. Um, I'll just do a real quick video when I have them all loaded up so you'll know in case you're interested in, in any of them. So let's get started. Um, these are in all different shapes, sizes, etc. This one, <clears throat> excuse me, now my throat's going to, it's raining today again, so here goes my sinuses. This one is actually uh, engraved or monogrammed on the lid. I think that's SMH. And uh, just beautiful, beautifully done. That's the back. And then inside is the mirror and our little powder puff and place for your powder. They even put a little screen over it so that the powder wouldn't be real loose. The screen would kind of hold it in place. So that's that one. This one I thought was really cool. It's a couple of ice skaters on the lid. It's uh, enamel on metal. And then that's the back side. And then inside is your little powder puff and your mirror. So cute. This is a lovely one here. And um, I think there used to be a paper label there. It's now gone. So I'm not sure who made this one, but we'll have to find out. But this is the lid. Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. Oops. Here I go. Knocking my stuff all over the place. <laughs> Wouldn't be the same if I didn't do that, right? <laughs> Let me get this thing open before I kill or anything. So there's your mirror, and then inside here is your powder. And when you close it all, it snaps shut. This is a larger one. It's uh, kind of a coppery gold tone look with a little bit of enameling on the top. And then on the back is a spiral. And it's, it's got a couple little age marks, but no major damage on it. Um, mostly just... Like I said, a couple of wear marks. And then inside is your mirror. I still have to clean the gookie off of there, but that's no big deal. And then here's your powder puff thingy. And again, I didn't have a name on it, so I'm going to have to look that one up. And then we have this pretty little rhinestone one. Isn't that pretty? Now, a couple of the stones have gotten a little dark. There's one there and one up there, I see. But they're um, they're still sparkly. And then the back is just plain. Some of these are easier to get open than others. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. Let me get this open. There we go. This one actually has a beveled mirror in it. And a um, little powder puff right there. And that's where your powder is. And then over here, I believe, is probably where your rouge would go. Or your blush, as we call it today. Very, very lovely, though. And the last thing I have this side of this box is this, which has a place for being monog monogrammed. It uh, does have some wear marks on it, but no, no dents or major damage. And when you pull, or you push this, that's right. There's a little mirror inside, and then there's a place. Um, I believe this one was just for, I'm trying to get it open here so I can show you. No, nope, it's got a powder puff. Wow. Pretty cool. And this one you could carry on your 
keychain. Neat. Okay, the next batch, I have this one. Well, this is so cool. I, I just I fell in love with this one. This is classy, okay? It has a clock in it that still works. Okay, so it's just plain on the back. A couple little wear marks. No dents or damage on it, though. Now, inside, you have your mirror. There's the hole for the clock. Right here is where you wind the clock, and all you have to do is just roll your thumb across there, and it will start working. And then this little thing here, I believe, yep, that's for your rouge. As they called it back then. And then this would be for your powder. And it says the watch case company. Um, it's Il Hang on a minute. Yeah, Illinois. Illinois Watch Case Company. Let me see if I can get that to focus or not. Nope, don't want to focus. Okay, be that way. You have to take my word for it. <laughs> but lovely, lovely old case. And the next one, I love the shape of this one. Isn't that pretty? So it's got all the birds and flowers on the front, plain on the back, and open it up, and you can see the mirror is starting to lose the silver around the edges, but you can still see in it. And then in here, like I said, some of these are a lot easier to open than others. Hang on. Be patient with me. I just had this open a minute ago. It's just doing this because I'm on, on video. I know that's what it is. Ah. So how's everybody doing today? I'll ask that while I'm trying to get this lid open. Hope everybody's fine. Kids are getting ready to go back to school. We're having our county fair this week. So... I thought I better get on here early before the traffic starts. Well, I guess you're just going to have to believe me that underneath here is a powder puff and a place for powder. And again, this one is made by the, this is Elgin American, made in the USA. Don't find too many things like that made in America anymore. Treasures. Then I have this silver one. It's not sterling silver. It's like a chrome. Uh, nice design on the lid. This one, oh, this one is sterling silver. Haha. <laughs> if I'd opened up, I would have seen that. It says sterling silver. Rex, R-E-X. Got a nice big powder puff and powder. Still got some powder in there. Wow. That is really cool. Hmm. Okay. And next, we have, I have, oh, my, the ones I really fell in love with, they're, they're a company called Stratton, S-T-R-A-T-T-O-N. They're made in England. And um, since I have British heritage, I just fell in love with those. And I was like, oh, i gotta buy, I got to buy those. So you can see on the back, they all say Stratton, made in England. So this is this one. Beautiful rose. Inside. Nice and clean, mirror, powder, powder puff. Beautifully done. There's this one. Love this one. That's so pretty. And on the back it says Stratton. Got one little mark up here. I wasn't able to get off, but it's not the end of the world. It's old. I mean, think about it. 1950s. We're not. We're now talking like 70 years ago. You know. So this one has a nice mirror on the inside, nice powder puff, and powder down there. This one has kind of an oriental 
design on it. It's enameled on the metal. And back again, it's a Stratton made in England. And inside, this one still has the original tag that says, to open inner door, press mirror gently back and the door will spring open. To shut, bring mirror lid forward <clears throat> and press down, uh, press door down. And uh, in case you don't know how to get into your powder and stuff, it'll just automatically pop up, which I thought was kind of cool. Here's your powder puff. So now it's all closed down again. And then there's this one I thought was so pretty. It's like a field of flowers. It's Stratton on the back. And then inside, again, the lid, you open the lid up and your powder lid up, pops up. It's got the original label stating that. And again, powder puff and powder inside. This one again, lovely field of flowers. So dainty and feminine. So pretty. This is Stratton on the back. This one has a little bit of wear marks on it, but it's no big deal. At 70 years old, you'd have wear marks too, right? <laughs> now this one is a mirror only. And on one side, it's a regular mirror. On the other side, it's a magnifying mirror. So I thought that was really cool. Very pretty. And the last of the British ones is this one in emerald green and oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Stratton on the back. And inside we have the mirror and again powder with the powder. It's just, it actually has the original powder puff Stratton made in England on it. That's that. And my last one. Oh, let me show this box first. <sighs> you know, no matter where I go, there always has to be a box and it's, it calls out to me. So I, I have to, I have to get them. So I saw this little lonely box sitting there along with all these compacts. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to get it too. So this is it. This is the lid. And this is the box. I love how that's shaped, you know. And then it's just a, just an empty box on the inside. It is, um, I believe this is just silver plate. I didn't find any markings whatsoever saying that it was sterling. So, you know, but just very beautiful. Another beautiful box. Gosh, what will I put in there? Maybe another little mini journal? We'll see in the future. And then the last thing I have is this one. And I'm trying to think of the African animal that this is. Is it a gazelle or I gotta look this up because I don't I I can't remember what animal this is, but I know it's African and then you got your your bamboo or some kind of frond leaf um, pattern and then it's shiny around the edges and then on the on the back side it's got the same. So then you open it up. This one's heavy. I thought, wow, what is in here that's so heavy? So you open it up. It's a music box. Isn't that wonderful? Now over here, let's see, how's this one open? This opens somehow. Oh yeah. And down in here is the original uh, paperwork that tells you about the music box and stuff, okay? So you could put something down in there, maybe money. And then up here you have a little clip for whatever. And then you have your lipstick. And this is where you wind the music box. And then this is your powder down here. 
I just thought that was incredible. I have never seen a musical compact before. So I can't wait to, to see uh, how fast this one sells. We shall see. So that's it for my compacts. I am done with the auction stuff. My next video will be sewing. I am going to do the candle holder fabric centerpiece um, thing that I make. And um, the, you'll get to see the different sizes that you can make, whether you want a skinny candle or a big fat candle or whatever. But uh, that will be my next video is, is coming up as a tutorial on how to make them. So until we get back together, I thank you. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. And God bless you all, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.